בפרשת השבוע שלנו היא פרשה גדולה, היא חמישה פרקים. So today's portion is very big, it's five chapters. ויש המון, יש שם על ראש חודש, יש שם על ה... למה שבעים אה, פרים מוק, אה, מוקרבים לאורך סוכות, יש המון נושאים משיחיים, אבל אני רוצה להתמקד על משהו פרקטי לנו בנושא של פנחס. Uh, so it uh, speaks about why there are 70 bulls being sacrificed during Sukkot, which is a messianic theme, and there was the first one okay. about the, the first of the month, why and how you celebrate the first of the month, which is another thing that points to the Messiah, but I want to take a, another point. Uh, I want to emphasize the faithfulness of Pinchas, the priest. I hope we all know the story that happened. In the beginning of chapter 25 in Numbers, we see that the children of Israel went after the idols and the women of the Midianites. והגאווה שלהם, אני בכוונה אומר את המילה הזו, והגאווה שלהם הייתה מתריסה בפנים של אלוהים, מול אוהל מועד. And their pride, the pride of those sinners was just like in God's face. They did it, they sinned just next to the tabernacle of God. אני משוכנע שהרבה מתוך עם ישראל לא אהבו לראות את מה שקרה שם. I'm sure that many Israelites didn't like these things that were happening. Not everybody was bad. זה צרם להם. I'm sure there were many that were disturbed by these uh, sins. אבל רק אחד פעל. But there was only one who got up and acted. הוא לקח כידון והוריד את זמרי ואת ה... בת של מלך מדיין. קוסבי, קוראים לה. כן. עכשיו, אני משוכנע שלפחות יש פה כמה חברים אומרים, טוב מנו, איזה חרב אנחנו עכשיו צריכים לקנות להרוג חוטאים? לא! What, where do we go buy a spear or a sword in, start, in order to start killing sinners? No, no, we don't do that. <laughs> That's not what we're supposed to do. The muklat. No! It's, it's recorded. No, no, don't do that. But still, there's something, a lesson to be learned from what Pinchas did. כמה פעמים אנחנו נמצאים ליד אנשים, בין אם זה בעבודה, בבית, או בכל מקום, ש... משפילים את אלוהים, מקטינים את דבר אדוני, או מקללים את ישוע. זה אף פעם לא קורה לאף אחד מכם? How many times do we, are we next to people at work or in, in any place that like make fun of God or speak evil against Jesus or laugh about the word of God? I mean, doesn't that happen to you? ואז השאלה היא, מה אני עושה? And then the question is, how do we react as children of God? How do I adopt the example of Pinchas in these everyday situations that happen to us? And I believe that או לשמור על קדושת אלוהים, גם אם אני לא אשנה את הבן אדם, לפחות לבוא ולומר, זה לא נעים לי, זה לא תקין. And I'm sure we have ways, there are ways, without using a sword and without using a gun, of letting people understand that we disagree with the way they speak, that we disagree with what they do, that it's actually really bad the way they speak and really bad the way they behave. אחד זה לבוא ולומר, חבר'ה זה מאוד לא נעים לי, זה פוגע באמונה שלי, בבקשה, זה לא מתאים, זה לא יפה, בבקשה תחדלו. אפשר well, לומר. There is one way of saying, look, uh, what, the way you speak 
about God that is, uh, it hurts my f faith. It hurts what I believe, what is, what is dear to me. Don't do that. <laughs> they won't necessarily uh, change their ways. אבל לפחות אתה העמדת פיל בחדר, שמת משהו בחדר שאומר להם, חבר'ה, מה שעשיתם לא מקובל. אבל על פחות אתה פותח את האלפנט בחדר, אז עכשיו הם יודעים שמה שהם עושים ומה שהם אומרים, זה לא נכון, או לפחות זה לא נכון בעיניך. דבר שני, אם זה השתתפות במעשה רע, אל תשתתף. סליחה, אני לא חלק בדבר הזה, זה נגד האמונה שלי. אני לא לוקח בזה חלק, תצחקו עליי, תפטרו אותי, תעשו מה שאתם רוצים, אני בזה לא לוקח חלק. And then of course the situation can be such where people expect you to be, to get involved and in what they do and in the way they speak, do the same thing. And of course you can tell them, no, this is, this is, here's the limit. I can't participate in that. I can't go this way. It, goes against everything I believe. They won't, people won't, most of the time, they won't immediately change. But if you're with them a lot, They may eventually come up to you and say, you know what, we, we know you and we want to honor you, so we, we don't want to hurt your feelings. We, 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 we're going to behave differently towards you. It can also be a strange situation where there is a group that says to you, in your face, and you stand in the middle and you say, so I don't continue in the work there, I don't continue in this community, I'm going to take a look. כמו שנאמר לנו, היברו מהם בשני על הקורינתים 6, אין לי חלק איתם יותר, גם זה יכול להיות במקרה קיצוני. אבל בכל זאת, המקרה הקיצוני. How do you say that? Cut off your connections with them and maybe go to work somewhere else. That can be a difficult decision, but sometimes there isn't another option. No matter what one of the three options, in every one of them, everyone who did something not good for the name of God, understood that he did something not good. Your behavior is not a good thing. In all three scenarios, the person's that were misbehaving, they heard and they hopefully understood that they, was, they did something wrong. They, was, they did something that wasn't right. You, you were the, the source of showing them the truth. So what is important for us is that we continue to love continue to love also people that do evil, and uh, that we, we don't change our way and adapt to evil, but we continue on the way with God. In most cases, it will cause the other side to change their ways. And the name of God will remain unblemished. תודה לאל. יש עוד הרבה בפרשת השבוע, אבל חבר'ה, כדאי ללמוד מה זה לחיים שלנו היום. So there's a lot more in this portion, but uh, at least we took one little point where we can say what does this speak into our lives today.